Hello, my eCamp friends. It's Teacher Carolyn here. I want to talk about camping today. I love to go camping. How about you? And it's that time of year when we're making plans. I want to read a story today about La about Llama Llama. And Llama Llama loves camping. But we're going to learn about this one. This time, we can't take any gadgets with them. Do you know what a gadget is? A gadget would be a small tool or an electric machine that makes things better. But they can't take any with them. So let me see. Would uh, Do you think a phone would be a gadget? You're right, it would. How about a tape recorder? Would that be a gadget? It would. So let's see what this story's about. Llama Llama Loves Camping. It's by Anna Dudry. I am excited to go camping tomorrow, Llama Llama tells his friends. He's never camped overnight before, and neither has Nellie New, Luna, Gilroy, or Euclid. It will be super fun, Mama Llama says, and Grandma Llama and I will be with you the whole time. Camping is going to be very different from being at home, says Llama. And Luna nods. We'll be out in the open, under the trees and sky, and we won't have any kitchen or household things, like a refrigerator, an oven, or light, says Gilroy. Euclid looks worried. After all, he loves gadgets. We can't use any machines while we camp, he asks. That's right, says Mama Llama. We're going to bring the essentials. Essentials are the few things we really need. But don't worry, Euclid. It's only for one day and one night. He does look worried there, doesn't he? The next day is warm and sunny as the campers arrive at the campground. Welcome to our overnight adventure in the woods, says Grandma Llama. Llama Llama and his friends, they cheer loudly. Everyone has a bag, has one bag, except Euclid, and he's carrying two. Don't worry, he explains. I only brought the essentials. Well, that's a lot of essentials, Nellie says with a laugh. wonder what kind of things he's got in that bag. Okay, camper, says Mama Llama. Let's go for a hike while it's still light outside. Euclid pulls a, hank, a handheld gadget out of one of his bags. I can plug our route into my directional device, he says. That's like a GPS. Remember, Euclid, Llama kindly says, no gadgets allowed. Euclid sighs. Okay, he says, putting it away. Not using gadgets isn't going to be easy. Mama Llama lets, leads the campers along a trail into the woods. Wow, says Llama, looking around. These trees are so tall. I wonder how tall they are, Euclid says. Can I measure them with my digital tape measure? And Luna shakes her head. No gadgets, she reminds him. Oh, yes, Euclid says. They are very tall trees, aren't they? When the group gets farther into the woods, Mama Llama asks the campers to stop for a moment. Let's listen to the sounds of nature, she says. What do you hear? Hmm. Llama pauses. I hear a bird chirping, he says. I hear leaves rustling, says Luna. I hear a tree creaking, says Gilroy. And Nellie points to a bee. I hear him buzzing, she says. I hear all that too, says Euclid, and I hear water flowing in the distance. But when they use their ears, they could hear a lot of different things, couldn't they? The sounds in the woods are different from the sounds at home, says Luna. Yeah, says Nellie, those are machine sounds. Beep, ring, ring, wee, you, wee, you. She laughs at her imitation of a siren. Euclid pulls a tape recorder and a camera from his bag. 
I want to make a recording to remember the sounds, he explains. Mama Llama smiles at Euclid. For this trip, let's just listen hard to remember everything he said. I forgot, says Euclid. This no gadget thing is tougher than I thought. What could he do to remember the things that they see in here? If you thought maybe take a piece of paper and a pencil and write those things down, that's a really good idea. After their hike, Mama Llama and his friends help Mama Llama and Graham set up a camp. Instead of a house, they have a tent. Instead of a refrigerator, they have a cooler with ice. And instead of an oven, they use a roaring campfire. It takes some work to camp out, says Mama Llama, but it helps you appreciate the nice things you have at home a little bit more. There they are. Got their campsite ready to go. Later, the campers eat a delicious dinner around the fire. And now it's time for dessert, says Grandma Llama, handing out sticks. Do we eat these, says Gilroy. No, says Graham, laughing. You eat these marshmallows after we roast them on the fire. As the sun sets, everyone roasts marshmallows over the fire. They taste delicious, even better than a dessert you might make at home. It's getting pretty dark out, says Nellie. It is, says Euclid, but it's pretty nice roasting marshmallows in nature, he adds, with no gadget. Have you made roasted marshmallows at your camp? They're fun, aren't they? Finally, it's time for bed. Inside the tent, the campers get cozy in their sleeping bags. Once they're all tucked in, Mama Llama has an idea. Let's listen closely to the sounds outside and pretend that they are music, she said. Campers close their eyes. They hear crickets chirping. They hear a bird calling. They hear the wind whooshing and an owl hooting. It sounds like they're all talking to each other, said Llama. The music of the forest is very peaceful. As they listen to the nighttime sounds, the campers slowly drift off to sleep. In the morning, sunlight streams into the tent. The campers wake up feeling refreshed. Mama Llama and Graham are very proud of Llama and his friends for spending the entire night in the woods. But everyone is especially proud of Euclid. Good job, cheers Llama Llama. You didn't use any gadgets on our camping, our camp out. Thank you, Euclid says. It was a fun challenge. I like the woods. And the other campers agreed. Can we go on another hike before we leave? Nellie asks. We sure can, says Grandma Llama. But first, breakfast. Can we use my electric waffle maker? Says Euclid. Oh, wait, he said. That's kind of a gadget, isn't it? He made it this far without using machines. And he isn't going to stop now. Oh, he remembered, didn't he? Yeah, he made it. All day and a whole night, he made it without his gadgets. Yeah. So gadgets are things that make our job easier or make something we do easier. But they're usually a tool or a machine, right? So let me see. Is an iPad or a tablet a gadget? It would be a gadget, wouldn't it? So if I wanted to play a game and I couldn't use my gadget... What could I do? Hmm. Oh, I bet I could have a deck of cards and play those. Or maybe I could use an Uno game and we can match the colors or the, the shape or the number that's on them. Maybe we could play checkers. We could play tic-tac-toe with a stick. Or we could use rocks to place our X's and O's. Excuse me, X's and O's out. Let me see. So we don't have a refrigerator, so how do we keep our, coal, our food cold? That's right. We use a cooler just like this and ice. I bet you have one at home, too, that you use, don't you? I, we can't have a light. 
but we want a light, what would we use? Can't use a switch? So I have a flashlight that I use. How about you? Sometimes we all have our own little flashlight at our house that we put in our right inside our sleeping bag. I don't have a bed to sleep on, so what am I going to sleep on? You guessed it. I have my sleeping bag here that I will unroll and lay out. Right. Let's see. I, some of the things that I always take with me is I always have a bag that I carry on my back. and I might need a snack when I'm taking my hike. So I always have some water because we need to stay hydrated. What else could I get? I like peanuts. How about you? Do you like nuts? They have some nuts in there. You might like a granola bar, maybe cheese. So I always have my snack ready to go too. I have my flashlight. I usually have a tablet and a pencil that I take so that I can make notes of things I saw. Oh, let's see. I saw some squirrels. I saw deer. Maybe I saw a fish jumping in the water when I was in the boat. You know, I also write down the things that I heard birds chirping, or the crickets, or maybe I heard who knows what. You guess. It's your turn. Let's see. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope that you get to take a camping trip them this summer, even if it's in the backyard. That's always fun to do. We put up our tents sometimes. We put our sleeping bags out there. We take our books. We take our marshmallows and our roasting sticks, and we like to have hot dogs too. And we just have a night outside and sleep under the stars in our tent. So I hope you had a good time. Read a good book to your friends, or have mom or dad read one to you, and talk about the things that you like to do when you go camping. All right, friends, see you soon. Bye-bye.